What's up guys, how are you guys doing today? This is Oddsar here and I am bringing you guys a Pokemon League uh, recap or just showing out my team. Okay, so my team is this right here, Mega Altaria, Raikou, Gudra, Gliscor, Arcanine, Blastoise, Magros, Espeon, Dugtrio, Sceptile, and Dusclops. That's my team right here. And yeah, alright, let's just go over to Showdown real quick. No, uh, right here. Go to Team Builder. And let's just go over each team member a little bit more in depth. Let's just start with Raikou right here. I basically chose Raikou for his speed and special attack. It's, it's a great electric type. Let's see what type of moves he can learn. Aura Sphere, that's great. Discharge is a great move. Where are some other ones? Volt Switch is always a great move. And uh, there's plenty of other ones. But mostly he's going to be ran as a special attacker, a speedy special attacker. That's how you run Raikou. Uh, my next pick was Mega Altaria. Just look at these stats. They're basically 110 across the board. This one's a little bit lower. And wait, why is that? That's whatever. Okay, uh, all of uh, Altaria's stats are 110 across the board, except for special defense, which eh, you can still run it special defensively. It doesn't really matter. I may, may do both all the way up like that. But yeah, you can run it defensively, you can run it offensively, you can run it any way you want, and it gets rid of my uh, dragon weakness. Eh, not, yeah, dragon weakness. Uh, I still have a uh, problem with uh, fairy types, though. I think, uh, where is it? It's over here. Metagross is my only real, uh, real counter to any fairy types. But let's just go back over here. Raikou, let's go with Gudra now. Gudra is mainly special defensive. It it has a, it has no defense. It has really good attack and really good special attack. You can run it offensively. You can run it special. Uh, you can run it offensively, special attack oriented, or either just straight defense. Uh, honestly, you're always gonna run it defensively, and either switch between special attack and attack. And you can run it any way you want. Sap Sipper, if you can do, uh, wait, no hydration. You can run it like in a rain team. Uh, Stas Cure, if it rains. Yeah. G Gudra, uh, Gooey, so just lowers that. I think either hydration or Sap Sipper is probably the best one for Gudra. Arcanine. I don't know why I said. Okay, anyways, Arcanine. This is one of my favorite mons, for one thing, and you can run him so many different ways. You can run him in attack, you can run him in special attack, you can run him in defense or special defense, you can run him speedy, kinda, honestly. M mostly it's just these four, you can interchange from attack, defense, special attack, and defense. He's just a great mixed attacker. Last choice. So, I mainly got him because I needed a spinner. That's pretty much the only reason I got him. And he's a lot like Arcanine. He's a very mixed attacker. His attack and special attack are almost even. His defense and special defense are almost even as well. And he's not that fast. but um, So he's basically like a mixed attacker, which is kind of, yeah, which is great. You can run him any way you want. All right, for Goliath score, only one thing I have to tell you: poison heal. With uh, toxic orb, so, yeah, toxic orb. That's all I have to say. Stall game is real, right there. Uh, toxic orb, poison heal with protect sub toxic and um. EQ. That's, that's probably how I'm going to be running him for almost everything. 
<laughs> I don't, uh, actually, I'm not even sure what else I can actually, how else I can run him. Um, man, taunt destroys him, though. You taunt me, I guess all I have to do is earthquake you a couple of times, which, with his tax stat, eh, it's alright. Speed and attack, and he has de decent defense. I mean, he can take a couple of hits. Let's just finish this out really quickly. Let me... Yeah, add him in. Bam. That, probably right there. You know, just for extra measure. Let's let's just make him shiny. Uh, no thank you. Alright, uh, wait. Yeah, I went through all this. Now let's go with my uh, next picks. After that, I chose Metagross. As basically a fairy counter. That's what I chose him. He's strong, physical attacker that can destroy fairy types. I thought he was faster than this, but a eh, bullet punch will mess up any fairy type, so that should be fine. Um, but yeah, uh, good offensive uh, team member. Great. Honestly, I don't know what I was going with with Espeon. I was just thinking a good, speedy, special attacker, and I chose Espeon. Magic Bounce or Synchronize, which Magic Bounce is probably the best one, because uh, with the with leaks like this, most people try to use spikes to uh, toxic to everything just to slow down your opponent. It's not just like normal play. And I'm still kind of new to this, so Magic Bounce should be good. Calm Mind, Dazzling, it gets Dazzling Gleam. Mm. Yeah, Espeon's going to be a great team member. Duck Trio. Speed. This speed stack is great, honestly. And I needed a ground type that can uh, do rocks and other stuff like that. Um, yeah, just basically for his speed and, uh, be able to set up rocks and other stuff like that. I'm not sure if any, uh, like, what they can and can't set up, but, yeah, okay, after that I chose, uh, actually I chose Dusclop, Besor, Sceptile, but it doesn't matter, I chose Sceptile as basically just represent the Memphis Grove Isles, you know, I had to do... My mascot, basically, I wasn't going to choose Grovile, but I had to choose Sceptile, at least. Okay. So, basically, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I haven't really looked at Sceptile. Really good speed. Good special attack. Probably going to be hard to counter. Some situations. Um, sorry about the Skype that you won't be hearing. A Dusclops. I, I think he's just strictly better than uh, Dusknor. Just my personal opinion. I think he's better with a evil light, evil light somewhere. Where where is it? Evil light. Uh, what what abilities? Frisk on switch in this. Hmm. I, that might not be bad. Uh, pressure this opponent monitor. Eh, that's alright. If, if I switch into him a lot, that's probably not that bad. But yeah, just that defense and special defense. On Honestly, that's all he is good for. Is that. He's just a really good wall breaker. Basically. Uh, you can give him Toxic, I believe. Yeah. You can give him Body Slam, Hex... If, uh, yeah, if basically Hex is another good one, Toxic them, then Hex them, that's great. It gets Willow. And it, it's just, uh, does it get any recovery moves? If it does, uh, Destiny Bond, that's kind of a cop-out, though. Um, Pain Split, possibly. Memento, yeah, this is just a great defensive wall breaker, basically. 
Uh, it can destroy uh, physical attackers with a willow and destroy them with hex that way. I don't know. I think he's just great all around mon. And yeah, that's that's my team. Those ten mons. Let me just uh, go over to this. Yeah. He's ten. One, two, three. Nine, ten, eleven, sorry. Eleven months. Yeah, and then, uh, right before I go, I'm gonna just show you my schedule. Yeah, I'm facing these guys right now. I'm facing the Indiana Infernos. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be tough. I, I, yeah, I, I'll do a team, I'll do a recap, uh, not recap, I will do a, uh, uh, like a battle, not about yeah, I'll be doing the battle live, plus doing a battle recap thing, basically, to, uh, just dis discussing which team member I'm bringing and why, yeah, uh, but this is gonna be a tough one to go against, just these three right here, the bulk plus low punny is... It's gonna be a tough one, but yeah, I, I think I think it's gonna be a really good match. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this recap, a uh, team recap, I hope you guys enjoy. See you later.